So a fun part of these fighting games are the stage transitions, and a lot of people have been wondering if Jump Force has them, and if so, how do you do them? First off, you're going to want to look at the top of the screen. There should be a diamond-shaped meter wrapping around your character's portrait. Get this meter halfway full and you can do a stage transition. A stage transition cannot be done unless it is halfway full. This is the same meter that you use to awaken your characters. But don't worry, a stage transition doesn't use the meter once it's halfway full. It just needs to be filled halfway, but it won't actually use what you've saved up. So you should still have this bar filled up after doing your stage transition, and you can still awaken your character. And to fill this meter, all you need to do is take damage. Each time the other player hits you, it'll fill up. Once it is at least halfway full, you just want to hit the other player or enemy with a heavy smash attack by holding Y on the Xbox One or Triangle on the PS4. If you're halfway full and then you hit him with a heavy smash attack, it should do a little weird slow-mo desaturated fractured type effect thing. Now you want to do a regular smash attack by holding X on the Xbox One or Square on PS4. If you're on PC, just go to your ability list by pausing the game and look at what the keys are for your heavy smash attack and regular smash attack. But again, if you're on Xbox One, you're gonna hold Y and then hold X to perform a heavy smash attack and then a smash attack. If you're on PS4, you're going to hold triangle and then hold square. Once you do that correctly, it should do a stage transition. From what I can tell, most maps have three different transitions, but not all of them do have transitions. Some maps, at least from what I can tell, such as Hong Kong in the beta, doesn't have a transition. But if you were to look at the stage New York and its transitions, all of its transitions pretty much go around in a circle, eventually bringing you back to the original stage. Meanwhile, Namek's transitions stay in the same spot, but each time you do a transition, the map starts falling apart like a volcano and exploding and just erupting. Some maps have very interesting transitions, while others are pretty basic. And that's pretty much it. If you want to see more Jump Force videos, don't forget to leave a like and share this video with your Jump Force friends. If you have any additional tips, leave it down in the comments. See ya!